Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft says that Edge is going to get even faster. And they've mentioned in a recent blog post dated the 28th of May that over the past months, they say you may have noticed that some of Edge's features have become faster and more responsive. And they say this is their journey to make all user interactions in the browser blazing fast, as they say, starting with some of their newest features and core features. Now, starting in Edge 122, they say, now we are currently sitting on version 125, but with Edge 122, they mention that the browser essentials you are, is now much more responsive, saying that uh, the browser essentials you are is now 42% faster for edge users and 76% faster for those um, of you on a device without an SSD. So that would be a mechanical hard drive as an example, or with less than eight gigabytes of RAM. And then something else they mention is that favorites uh, is another part of the browser that's um, getting improved performance and getting faster and these UI responsiveness improvements they say started in Edge 124. Now as mentioned that was the previous version we are currently sitting on 125 and they mentioned that where the favorites are expanded or collapsed the experience should be 40% faster and they also mentioned that over the coming months um, they will continue to ship responsiveness improvements to many more Edge features which will include the history. And uh, you can actually see that history doesn't load as fast as favorites and browser essentials. So just a comparison. I think that's a bit quicker. Slightly. Slightly. Takes a little bit longer. So um, they say that's all 40% faster or so. And they say that um, history will be getting improvements, downloads, wallet, and a lot more. Now, one of the possible reasons why these menus are a little bit faster is you may have noticed that none of these menus have the acrylic effect. And acrylic is what makes a menu translucent. So obviously to get that translucent effect, that see-through effect, that uses a little bit more uh, performance in the browser to get that effect. Because if I head to the main menu, you can see it's a little bit see-through. I don't know if you can pick that up in the video. And if I right-click here where it's quite bright, you can actually see that acrylic showing through and that translucent effect showing through that menu. And all of these at the top here do not have that effect. You can see that's pretty much a solid uh, menu with no acrylic effect whatsoever. So that could be a possible reason. And um, Microsoft basically said the result of this exercise is an Edge internal project they have called Web UR 2.0. And they say in this project, they built an entirely new markup first architecture that minimizes the size of their bundles of code and the amount of JavaScript code that runs during the initialization path of the u user interface. So that could be a reason why that acrylic has been removed. They say this new internal UI architecture is more modular and they now rely on a repository of web components that are tuned for performance on modern web engines. And they mentioned they also came up with a set of web platform patterns that allow um, them to ship new browser features that stay within um, their markup first architecture and that use optimal web platform capabilities and uh, they mentioned that browser essentials as part of this exercise is the first edge feature that they converted to test the new architecture and to prove that the concept worked especially on all types of devices now this is according to microsoft and they mentioned they are in the process of upgrading components of the edge user interface to web ui2 and you can expect to see more features of the browser getting far more responsive over time so i don't know if you agree with me do you agree does browse essentials and favorites as two examples open up quicker than history i think they do slightly but nonetheless i'm keeping my eye on this one and as mentioned microsoft says that edge now is going to be getting even faster in the future so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one